Husky KU men's basketball getting loose as they prepare to take on the Southeast Missouri Red Hawks. Eastern looking for their 10th win of the season. First half, Eastern down two. Stutz hits McGlone on the wing. Nothing but cord. Colonel's up one. EKU trailing by three. Hood puts up a shot off the mark, but Nip is there for the board and a dime as Walden knocks down the tray. He would finish with a game high 23 points. Just over two minutes left in the half. EKU down one. Walden picks the side, drives the lane, and drops a floater to regain the lead. Closing seconds of the half, and Walden trying to knock down one. No dice, but Hood is there for the putback at the buzzer. Colonels lead by six at the break. Second half, Simo has crawled to within three, and Eric Stutz puts up a raindrop. Barely moves the net. He would finish with 18. EKU up six. The Colonels are fourth in the nation in steals per game, averaging 10.9. And McGlone gets one, then he takes it the other way and lays it in for two. He would finish with eight points. It would be all Eastern from there and the Colonels coast to a 68-55 victory. Here's McGlone after the game. Well, um, you know, we were jumping on the sidelines. We got a good trap over there on their guard. Uh, he tried to swing it over to the one of the one of the bigger guys, I think, and I got my finger on it, poked through, and managed, you know, get down and lay one in. Oh, it's huge! It's a huge confidence boost because you know we beat Martin, who's a good team. Simo is a good team, so I mean to beat to beat these two teams on the road, win five in a row, it's great for our team. EKU has won five straight at Cape Girardeau and are winners of four in a row. The Colonels return home to face EIU on the 15th. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.